cast it as the uh, mobster gangster. So I did this film um, to show a little versatility, a little range, you know? So it's it's not easy for me to be soft, you know? There's nothing too soft about me, but um, I think it came out really good, you know? So, you know, yeah. But I will tell you, this could have never happened without Suzanne De Laurentiis, Dale Fabricar, who's one of the best actors, I mean, directors, excuse me, ever. And of course, my scene partner, Charlene Tilton. And uh, it's, they make it easy, you know, they make it easy. And so you're playing a character that's very diverse from what you usually play. What challenges did you take on while doing this? Well, um... Again, I had to be soft. I got yelled at a lot, you know, keep it down, Tony. So, um, no, I, I think it came out pretty good, though. I do. I think you'll be surprised. If you can summarize this film in three words, what would it be? An extreme challenge for me. Thank you so much. You. How does it feel being here? Well, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing this short film. We had a wonderful co-star, Tony Stavola, and a great director. Dale, so this is um, very exciting. I play the wife, so this is an interesting film that um, the story really grabbed me when I read the script that you, it's about life after death and, and right leading up to that, so it's kind of an interesting film. It's a short film, I think it's um, sweet, inspirational, it's about a love story between a husband and wife that have been married for quite 37 years and um, something happens and they have a major transition. Was it like playing the wife? Um, it was wonderful. Tony was a wonderful actor to to play opposite and um, it was a great script. We had a wonderful time. It's based on a larger uh, movie. It's a feature and then we adapted it into something that was smaller for Tony. And actually it, came, it went the other way around. Um, Tony came to us and said, I have this idea and I want to work on this film, but it needs to be smaller what do we have and I worked with Suzanne to kind of come up to uh, the idea that it needs to be a short film project and what do we have and we scoured all these stories and it, there was a feature that was called Welcome to Ladenville and then we um, I rewrote it with my partner Mark it was, it was written originally by um, George Michael and we adapted it for this short and um, and it's just a wonderful when I read the script I realized it was a different story it, it, it Primarily, it's a story about uh, Nick and his wife, and they're older, you know, they're seniors. And that's a story that doesn't really get told too often, and it was different for me, and I just wanted to be a part of that. So it's, and then working with Tony as well, um, knowing that it was sort of his dream to sort of create a, a character that's different than he's usually portrayed in other films. So that was important, and, and to help shape what this character could be, and this, this story was really great. It was amazing. I mean, it was one of the, this little project is a really great highlight for me uh, that I worked on last year. And uh, it was so special in so many ways. Getting to work with Tony, getting to work with Charlene. Oh my gosh, she was a dream. She was so wonderful. Very supportive of the project and of Tony and of me. It was so great. And then working with some first timers like um, like uh, Chris's son. Uh, I want to give props to Jose Alejandro and Crystal Avila. Working with them for the first time together. That was really cool too. Everyone, when you get older, everyone goes back to, a, I wish I could go back to the good old days. And that's what I was thinking of. Where, well, I grew up in a small town where uh, we kept our doors open at night. We drank out of our garden hose. We didn't wear helmets. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could get a character to go back in time? So it just kind of developed after that, where I uh, wrote a short story about it and just kept moving it along. And to finally into a screenplay.
And I let my character kind of guide me through it all. And that's how it came about. It, it was about two years of the making. When I used to live in Minneapolis, St. Paul. When I moved to Danbury, Wisconsin, population 170, I, I cleaned out my basement. I found 18 copies of this script. Because every time I, I, I made a change, a lot of changes in it, I made the hard copy so I could read the hard copy because I was told that if you read it on the computer, it's different than reading it on the hard copy. So I had 18 hard copies of it, plus how many on the computer. So it, it just had to keep developing, polishing, changing. Uh, it, it's, it's quite the task. I mean, you have to be a loner to do it and always thinking about it. Believe in yourself.